Hey everybody, I'm Recycled, and welcome back to Let's Play Fallout 2 with Big Guns. Uh, the uh, only place that I think, I mean, I need we need to sell uh, some items. Uh, so I'm actually going to only uh, swing by Redding because it's the only logical place, really, that we could stop that has money. Uh, we've already cleaned out Vault City as far as I know. Um, actually, no, I don't know that. We have not stopped by our special shop that we weren't allowed to use before, so let's go there. Now, are they here at nighttime? Is this door open? It is open, but no one's here. And we're still not allowed to rest? Nope, still not allowed. You know, while we're here, we should probably check in with this guy. Hello, citizen. Uh, apparently nothing. Well, never mind. Alright, what do you got for me? Hey there, welcome back. Anything I can do for you? Um, yeah, I think so. This is the amenities office. We got your typical stock. We already read this. Um, let me see. I am a citizen now. They have... Don't want that. Don't want this. That's kind of cool. Those are nice. Oh, hey. Um, I don't know if we can even use those. But... Um, I know one way to find out. Let's not do this. Let's save our game. Yep, that's all I needed. Not. Alright, so we'll be buying these two books. Uh, it doesn't really matter what I trade to get them. I thought we could upgrade this gun, but apparently not. Uh, just in case I do want them, yes, that's a fine trade. And that will be 90 plus 47 is, uh, 137. Nope. <laughs> One of these days, I'm going to get it right. So let's see if we can read these books. And also, I did something. Apparently, you can upgrade your software after all this time. So that fading should be a lot faster. Oh, I should probably check and see what is my science skill. It's already 68. So let's see if we can do anything. It is still a little bit too slow. I like to go a little bit faster. Uh, that seemed to work. What about this one? That also worked. Is there anything else that we want here? Oh, great. Uh, should not have done that. In fact, I will not have done that. Let us load our game. And... Yup. Yup. You gave me... Everything that I want, including two books of science, uh, maybe money, stim packs. Let's see, if I sold you this and this, then, um, then I could get all your stim packs? Uh, no, but I could sell you hunting rifles? I don't really need those. Uh, maybe don't sell me all these. And I could use some cash. I think. Uh, that's a hundred. But then, uh, less fifty. So, uh, that's fifty. Yay, I got it right. So, we clean this place out. Let's go to, uh... Reading, I think? Well, as it happens, we've sold practically everything that we needed to over at this other merchant here, so I guess we'll just head directly back to the den. What is... Uh-oh. A patrol unit. Wait, a patrol for who? Um... Probably the NCR. Let's go. Or the Vault City Patrol, of course. Ah, something else. Oh my god, it's Golden Geckos. Uh, let's kill them and take their hides. Um, if I stand, like, right here, I think, then I could pull out my gun, and I could... Can I aim, like, really far away? Uh, will that work? I'm not really sure how this works. Oh, they're fighting mantids. Uh, I think that would work, but if I hit this one... See, I want to hit, like, a bunch of them. So I should probably aim, like, for this guy. No, that's not how that works. Of course.
It'll work better. Oh, it'll work a lot better later on. And we can also use uh, two different kinds of miniguns, I believe. I don't want to hit Sulik, but if I move, then I won't get... Um, I need to move. Yep, I definitely need to move. Uh, it doesn't matter because I have to reload. Yeah, let's do this and maybe go for that. Oh yeah, that's how that works. And we didn't hit Sulik. Awesome, but we have to reload. You guys just never learn, do you? Um, if I stand here, uh, yep, I definitely have to move if I want to tag both of them. Hmm. And then I can pull out my spear and just stab this one. We're too tough for these guys. Vic has an extra gun just in case he happens to blow up that one. Which I happen to know is possible. He's unlucky enough. Yeah, I found out you can actually boost your luck by encountering the pariah dog. I wasn't counting on that though. Uh, let's get these hides. And then leave and don't fight the mantids. Second thought, let's start their quest. Since you have to go to the den anyway. So this guy. Sorry, but we're closed indefinitely due to the drought. Um, tell me more about the town. Well then, welcome to Modoc. My name's Joe, and I run this here trading post. We don't have much, just a few farms, a slaughterhouse, Rose's bed and breakfast, and a tannery. Just enough to produce goods to trade, although that could all change with this drought. What's the, uh... What about... I want to know more about the drought. Uh... I run the trading post. I organize trade between Modoc and other cities in need of food and leather goods. But with this drought, that could all come to an end real soon. We're getting desperate. Tell me about the drought. Darn it. Uh, oh yeah. I'm looking for a certain item. I was wondering if you might be able to help me locate it. Well, spit it out. I can't help you if you don't tell me what you're looking for, and I sure ain't gonna stand here and try to guess what you're looking for. I am looking for the holy geck. Well, you're in luck. I just happen to know where it is. I guess we have some business to discuss after all. Uh, <laughs> tell me what you want. Ah, yes, what I want. If you hadn't noticed yet, our little farming community is experiencing one of its worst droughts ever. The rainy season was unusually short this year. And our crops are dead or dying from lack of water. To put it bluntly, our community is on the verge of withering away with our crops. Uh, you know, I can't make it rain, right? No, no, of course not. I wouldn't ask you to do something as impossible as that. You really can't make it rain, can you? No, of course you can't. Anyway, like I was saying, we're in trouble. We could use your help. Well, I'm listening. There's this farm at the outskirts of town where no farm should be. Some years back, it just appeared out of nowhere. Are you saying this farm just sprung up overnight? Yeah, right. A group of us were out hunting when we noticed the new farm. But that wasn't the strange thing. Soon after, some of us got together to visit our new neighbor, only to discover there wasn't anybody there. Go on. After many months of trying to contact the owners with no success, it was decided that the farm must have been abandoned soon after it was built. So instead of letting the crops rot in the fields, young Carl moved in. Hmm. That's when things got bad. Carl started to tell stories of seeing strange glowing figures tending the crops and feeding the animals at night. We all laughed at him, thinking he was making up stories. Then one day, Carl stopped coming into town. What happened to him? Did you look for him? Of course we did. We went up there as soon as we suspected something was wrong. He starts to tremble violently. The horror! Bodies strewn everywhere! Some crucified, others were left to rot in the sun. I still wake screaming in the middle of the night from the horrible images I saw that day. So, 
<laughs> Let me guess. You want me to go to this farm and find out what happened? Well, normally I would just leave that cursed place be. But for some reason, the crops at this farm are still flourishing despite the drought. We'll starve if we don't get food soon. Will you help us rid the farm of these ghosts? What do I get out of this? In return for helping us, I'll tell you where you can find what you seek. Uh... <laughs> Uh, it's a deal. Show me where the farm is. This farm is about a day's travel to the northeast. He pulls out a map and points to a spot northeast of Modoc. No shit. Come back when you found something. Okay. Sounds good. Ghost farm. Can I look? Let me look. These bodies appear to be fake. Nothing but dummies covered in Brahmin innards. Uh-huh. And I wouldn't find like a... trap door... out in the field. Uh-huh. No, I wouldn't. But this guy's here. Oh, all these guys are here. Well, hello. Why can't I move? Go. Surrender or die. I surrender. We didn't have to jump down a pit and break all our bones. So that's pretty good. This guy says, Please let me apologize for the unpleasant circumstances under which we meet. Normally the protectors would have tried to scare you off. Usually rattling chains and some low moaning is enough to scare anyone off. But recently they've been instructed to bring any surfaces they find to me. What do you want with me? A simple request. We need to make contact with the town to the southwest. I believe it is called Modoc. Would you do us this favor? Uh, yeah, I will. I won't even ask for anything in return. I knew you would understand. Here is a message relaying our request. Please take it to Modoc and give it to the person in charge. Return here when your task is complete. I will tell the protectors to expect your return. We thank you for doing us this service. Okay. Oh, and in case you need to find your way out of here, uh, here's the door, but this guy is blocking it, so like, no, you can open it, and then you have to tell this guy to move, so if you didn't know that you could do that, you'll figure it out, or you'll be stuck here forever, <laughs> uh, let's go and tell them, let's go, go, no, I don't want to attack, Ah, let's go back and tell them this is the right pixel, right? Yes, it is. Let us tell them you're back. What did you find out about the farm? I have a message for you. The slags, who are they? What's this? He opened it and read the message. This is incredible. They've been living underground all this time. They say they'll be willing to trade food for medical supplies and other stuff. I don't know if they could be trusted. After all, they killed Carl and all, and all of those other people. What do you think? Those bodies are fake. They're nothing but dummies covered in Brahmin guts. They just want to keep you from stealing their crops. Fake, but I saw the bodies with my own eyes. Ugh. In any case, Carl is still missing. How do they explain that? I won't trust them until I'm certain they're on the up and up. I'll be back when I find out what happened to Carl. We're going to attack the slags in 31 days no matter what. Unless you come back and tell me something good. Okay. <laughs> Let's attack right now. They obviously can't be trusted. Just kidding. Do do do. How good of you to return. I take it you have delivered the message to Modoc then. How was it received? They have reservations. They don't trust you. They think you killed people. Oh, they want to know what happened to the farmer that was living here. We scared him off the farm. Nothing more. I assume he went back home when he discovered the farm was haunted. The protectors reported him headed northwest. You might try searching for him that way. Uh, and this. 
We are a peaceful people. We have killed no one. Those bodies are props we manufactured to scare off those who try to steal from us. If you examine the bodies closely, you'll notice they are nothing but brawling guts and dummies. I knew that, but I had to say that anyway. For some reason. I'll keep you informed of my progress. Uh, we already know where Carl is. He's not really to the northwest. He's about due west. You gotta go to the den. So let's go there. Let's go here. Oh no, something happened. Uh, moonshiners. I don't care about that. Can I just leave? Of course I can. I think they'll shoot us if we hang out too long. Let's not do that. Oh no, now what? A merchant party? Uh, we have some stuff to sell. Maybe I should put my gun away. Hopefully they're not assholes. Does he look like an asshole? Does he look evil? I can't tell. I'll have to walk up to him. Hey, guy. Nope. He's an asshole. Okay, well, I guess we'll be on our way. I don't remember exactly how much this car goes for, but I think we have enough. Um, that's not why we came here. Let's go to the east side. And talk. To one very drunk person. <laughs> Spare some change for an out-of-work farmer? Uh, well, yeah, but, uh, how about a hot meal? I'm not hungry. Uh, okay. <laughs> Here's 25 bucks. Uh, what about a gek? No. Yeah, uh, gek goes that way. It's a, uh, there's a, a lizard. Uh, okay. Uh, he passed out. Dang it! Uh, I think I screwed up. I guess we have to wait till he wakes up. Oh, he's awake again. Oh, kind and generous person. <laughs> I can give him a lot of money. Hey, tell me what happened, dude. He said, I used to be an upstanding citizen before coming here. I was a peaceful farmer that worked the fields as hard as any man. Until they started showing up at night, all glowing with pasty white skins. Spooked the hell out of me, it did. Night after night, they would showed up and stole crops and cattle alike. I could do nothing to stop them. I know what you're going to say. Why didn't you ask for help? Well, I tell you, I did. Nobody believed me. They thought I was crazy. Finally, it just became too much. I couldn't take it anymore. <laughs> I just up and left and came here. And here I've been ever since. He started to cry. Oh, no. Well, I guess we know where he is. What do you mean, hey? I can't talk to you again. Yeah, I know. That's fine. We'll uh, tell your friend about you. Uh, let's go see Smitty. He's way the heck over there. And can I please pathfind here? I think I can. Ever since I installed that new patch, it screwed up my uh, pathfinding ability. <sighs> yep, those guys are dead. So that's good. These kids are still out here. We haven't taken care of that problem. Uh, there's a Brotherhood of Steel Bunker here, but right now I just want to get, uh, this car. So, hey, Smitty, I really enjoyed that meal. Uh, can you give me some XP? It's like I turned in a quest. Just kidding. Uh, I found this thingy here. Uh, here's this thing. That's a fuel cell controller. I can get that car running. Well, you see, I got this car. It's a Chrysalis Motors Highwayman. She's a beaut, too. They used to say, nothing could stop a highwayman. Built tough, that's what they were. Uh, what does that have to do with me? Well, you see, I thought I needed a battery for the thing, but all I really needed was a fuel cell controller. Well, how'd you know that? Them things always going bad on them. Well, it got me one of them. Well, here's the deal. You just give me only 2,000 caps, and I'll sell you the car. Hell, uh, I mean, heck, <laughs> I'll even install the fuel cell controller for you. It should run good as new. I'll charge it up with some extra MF cells I got. Uh, here you go. Let's do it. Fading is much faster. That's way better. Okay, uh, I'll take it easy. But hey, Smitty, I still got this other thing, and I want to install it if I can. Yeah, we have enough money. That's a fuel cell regulator. That'll give you better mileage per energy cell. I could put that in for you if you had, say, 750. Uh, let's do it. There you go. Better and new. Take it easy with her now. I sure will. Uh, so I'm going to do some inventory management and shove all the crap in the trunk. 
Well, that's done, and I guess while we're here, we should probably cruise over to Mom's house, or Mom's place. Yeah, to the east side, because we're lazy. We could just teleport around like that, which is awesome. So, let's talk to Mom. That was good work. You must have worked up quite an appetite. I have a real treat for you as a reward. A combination plate of the best darn food I have here. Just for you. Well, that sounds great. Let me add them. You have quite an appetite. Will that do it for you? Uh, I think it will. But, um... You're not my mom. Everyone calls me that. I even treat people like they're my kin. As long as you obey my rules, that is. Rules? That's right. No stealing, no cursing, and no fighting. Not in my shop you don't, because if you do, out you'll go. I like things peaceful here. Uh, yeah, but, but what about... Uh, nothing. Oh, I have to talk to Bobby or what's his name. Hey, look, they're Bauer. Darn it. Here's the south side of town. We've never been here before. There's not much to do here, actually, as far as I can tell. But, um, if you go into this house... Uh, if you can find the door... Oh, it's right there, where you can see it. So, a man in armor holding a spear barges into the house and says, Hello, child. Hi, mister. My name's Bobby. I live here with my dad. I see. Well, that... Are you here because my dad owes you money? I don't know if he's here or not, but if I knew where he was, I'd tell you because maybe you'd beat him up so bad he would never come home again. Uh, it sounds like you're not so fond of your dad. Why's that? My dad's not very nice. He leaves me home alone all the time. When he is home, he's always drunk or flying on jet, which is a lie because I never see him fly anywhere. Sometimes he brings a girlfriend home. He's got lots of girlfriends, and he makes me go outside for a while, even if it's the middle of the night and cold or raining. Well, that's... Oh, and sometimes he tells me to take things from people in secret. He says it's a game, and that he gives it back later, but I don't believe him. But if I don't do it, he gets mad, and his eyes get all scary looking, and he hurts me. See? <laughs> uh... That sucks, Bobby. Your father's an asshole. His eyes light up. You aren't like the others that come through here. I like you. I wish my dad was more like you. Sometimes I think about running away. Some of my friends don't have homes. And they say it's not so bad. As long as they bring Mr. Flick enough things, they get to you once a day. But Mr. Flick doesn't sound very nice either. Actually, he sounds a lot like my dad. Uh, there's got to be something that could be done about this. Can you think of any adults in this town that would be willing to look after you or any of these homeless kids? Maybe mom? I don't mean my mom. My mom's dead. But there's a lady people call mom. I don't know why. Uh, maybe because she's really nice? She's got a diner on the other side of town. He points to the northeast. Hmm, I am feeling a bit hungry. No, I'm not. Why would I have to be hungry? I don't have to be hungry. Let's go see mom. Hey, mom. What do you want to talk to Mom about? I noticed there's a bunch of orphans around. It's a shame, isn't it? Those poor children living on the streets like that? A lot of them steal to get by, from outsiders mostly. So if you catch one trying to relieve you of something, take pity on them. I'm not saying it's right, but it's a harsh world we live in. We all do what we have to in order to make it through the day. Well, I wish I was carrying junk on me so they had a, more, a higher chance of stealing that instead of my goodies. <laughs> There's got to be something which can be done about this. From what I've heard, you seem to be the only person around that actually gives a damn. Why, of course I do. Children are our future. They don't have to grow out to be jetheads, thugs, and whores like most of their deadbeat parents. Why, with an education and some love and care, these kids can grow into the kind of decent folk we so desperately need in this world. I tried establishing an orphanage for them, but sadly that didn't pan out. Maybe it's time to give it another try. I'm not going to be in town for too much longer, but I'll do what I can to help while I'm here. Yeah, perhaps you could help. You see, I procured a large building over on the southwest side. With a, a little work, it would make an excellent orphanage. That. But <laughs> a bunch of lowlifes are squatting there and refuse to leave unless they pay an absurd fee. Even if I had the money, I wouldn't give it to bullies. They'll just use it to further poison themselves. I'd go to the authorities, but there's, there are none. Perhaps you can be the authority. Uh, yeah. I, I think I can. Actually... Let's go there, on the south side. Or the west side, or something. It's on the south side. And, uh, my speech skill... ...is, uh, horrible. So I'll talk to this guy. What do you- what do you want? 
I want you and your friends out of this building. It's come to my attention. Mom intends to turn this place into an orphanage to get all these homeless children off the streets. She can't do that with you squatting here. Uh, Mom knows the deal. We're not going anywhere until she coughs up the money. Unless you brought us a million coins. Fuck off. She doesn't have that kind of money. Even if she did, she'd never pay you. So forget it. Why not show some decency for once and go squat somewhere else? Those homeless kids need this place a lot more than you do. Who are you to say who deserves what? We like it here. You can't make us leave. Actually... You have two choices. You can walk out of here on your own two feet, or I can remove you by dragging you out one corpse at a time. You can't intimidate us. Uh, we'll fight you for our turf. Are you fucking serious? You gotta be... You can't be serious. He's not... He's gone... He's... Uh, don't do that. I need to kill you to complete the quest. Um, I could unload... Uh, 15 rounds of the bows are on him, but it's not necessary. If we can just get these guys and stop them from running away, that'd be the best. Yeah, you don't even need much speech skill to convince them. Uh, well, my speech skill's in the garbage dump, so uh, there's no way I could uh, get the speech option. And uh, being that's a passive skill. Yeah, I learned. I tried to categorize the skills. I was like violent, uh, utilitarian, and uh, nonviolent. Actually, uh, it's called. Um, oh, don't get away. Uh, we don't have to fight if you don't want. Um, they're called uh, uh, active skills, uh, uh, utility skills, and uh, passive skills, I think. <laughs> Which also makes sense. Hey, are you guys afraid of me? Because if you are, that means I have to kill you. For some reason. Uh. <laughs> I don't know if he's one of them. Wait. This guy, look, he's a squatter. If that guy, is he, are you a squatter? No, it's just a man covered in dust and filth. I don't think he's one of them. You're a squatter, I have to kill you. Oh, Sulik's going for it. Yep. We're wrecking this shop. Um, actually, I need to kill you. So we can just stand still for a second. I, I need you to die. Oh, I know exactly what I started. Also, he's not fighting back, so this seems stupid. But, um, I'll keep doing it. Yep. If I end my turn, what happens? Nothing happens. That chick's looking at me. She's an addict. Oh, and she's a squatter. Uh, let's go the long way so she can't get away. And let's... Kinda sneak over this way. And she'll probably see us almost immediately. So, I'm gonna get my voice up close. I'm just gonna... Vault around the corner and stab her in the face. <laughs> Erp. That was a crit. Nope, there's no getting away. I can't even make it there. Well, this is annoying. Yeah, if I had thought about this a little bit more, uh, let's just kill her. Just die. I don't have time for this. <laughs> yeah, sorry about all the holes in the wall, Mom. I was tired, and I didn't want to walk. Uh, let's pick up all this junk. It really sucks, but we'll pick it up. Uh, yeah. All right, let's go tell Mom what we did. <laughs> hey, Mom, you'll never guess what I did. Uh... Good news, Mom. The building's like yours. I ran into a little snag, but those squatters won't be bothering anyone ever again. Oh, that's great news. Thank you so much. I just hope no one was hurt in the process. Um, maybe. Uh, I'll get in touch with some friends. We'll get started right away. If you're still in town a few days from now, you should stop by. Hopefully, we'll have things up and running by then. Oh, I'm so excited. Thanks again. Here, this meal's on me. Uh, I'm eating too much. 
So after that, you should go and see Bobby. You help establish an orphanage for the children of the den. But there was still a dead guy lying in the doorway. We had to go tell the child about him before they would clean up the body for some reason. Hi again. Did you want to talk to mom? Did you talk to mom? Guess what, Bobby? I spoke with mom. She's going to be opening up a nice big new home where you and all your homeless friends are welcome to go live together. It's going to be in the big building right across the street from here. She said she'll have it all set up in a couple days. Really? That's great! I can't wait to live there with all my friends. I'm so excited. Thanks again, mister. You're the best. You're welcome, kid. See you around. You get 500 more XP for turning in your quest. Well, we got a car. Uh, where should we go? I want a memory module, I think. I gotta pick up some buff out somewhere. Uh, I think these dealers only sell jet. But I'll look it up. Well, apparently the only real place to buy it is into Reno. Um, Redding is on the way. Uh, you know, um, we've got to, uh, we've got to get a uh, six perception before we reach level nine. Because otherwise we won't qualify for better criticals. And I definitely want to pick that up. So, hmm. Yeah, it makes sense. We'll stop in Reading on the way. Because then we can make some more money. And we're going to need money when we get to uh, New Reno with this car. But anyway, that does it for this episode. So, if you've been watching, thanks. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.